What's going on, you guys? It is your Older Than Average Gamer here. Today, we're taking a look at a new FPS being developed by a AAA studio that is co-founded in part by uh, someone that I think everyone here probably knows, Mr. Guy Beam. Ah, uh, wait, wait. You probably know him as Dr. Disrespect. Of course, he's not alone in this venture. His other co-founders in this Midnight Society game studio include Robert Bowling and Quinn Del Hoyo, who are both industry veterans, uh, longtime developers, and game uh, producers. So uh, they've got some heavy hitters as far as the you know, the backgrounds are concerned for this new studio. Uh, the new game is Dead Drop. Uh, there is no release date for this game yet, as of yet. However, uh, there is a new playable snapshot available to select players. Now, in order to play this, uh, essentially what is a demo, um, you had to have become a founder, about a founder's pass, uh, which there was limited amount of those. And um, essentially, it's just an early access pass, but it's also an NFT. Um, now, to explain what NFTs are, I'm going to hand it over to somebody who's a little more, you know, you know qualified than I. That you, um, you had, you, you, you could, you do, you, you want, you, you could do so, you, you do, you could, you, you want, you want him to do you so much, you could do anything. Nailed it. Nice job. So, yeah, it's a little confusing sometimes. Uh, NFTs are a little strange, but essentially what they are is a cryptocurrency um, that can be traded amongst themselves. But they're, one of the catches here is that they're not a one-to-one -one value. If you want to buy an NFT for a certain price and then sell it to someone else for a higher price or a lower price, you can do that. With other cryptocurrencies like Bitcoin, they're, the value is one-to-one. -one. They're always worth what they are. Um, so it's a little bit strange in that in that aspect. And Essentially, what you could do if you were to have bought um, a, a Founders Pass as the, as the NFT that it is, um, theoretically, you could buy it for the 50 bucks they were asking for and then sell it to someone else who really, really wants to play this game for 200 or $1,000, um, which is kind of crazy, to be honest with you. Um, but that's the reality of what it is. And there's a lot of people who find NFTs, especially in video games, to be very counterproductive, which is understandable. Um, particularly when you think about it in those kind of uh, those kind of respects. So that's what an NFT is, at least in a short answer. Now, the game itself looks all right. I mean, I think some people might have had uh, much higher expectations for what they thought they might see the first time they got a look at this. Um, but in reality, I mean, you're talking about, I know they're saying they're a AAA development uh, studio, but they're not really. What they're doing, they're using an Unreal Engine 5 as well. The system requirements just to play the snapshot demo are very high. You need 32 gigabytes of RAM. Um, they're suggesting a core processor that hits 4.25 gigahertz. <laughs> It's, it's a hardware demanding game uh, from a demo standpoint. Now, over time, obviously, you optimize all this stuff and it becomes easier to, uh, to handle for any system. But the game itself looks pretty good. I mean, there is, there's ray tracing, obviously. You can see the reflections in the uh, puddles. It's, um, I think it's a little better than I, I expected it would look. I, um, I'm not sure how I feel about the movement. It looks a little clunky. Um, the reload animations look a little, little weird. Um, really fast lighting is again is pretty good but it's so dark in some of these places and if you can imagine trying to play this game in a versus you know situation it'd be very easy to not see people in in some of these shadowed areas i think they're gonna have to do some work um, with lighting to make darker areas still visible um you know for enemy acquisition all in all, I don't really know what to expect from this game. I'm not really a huge Battle Royale uh, player, uh, but because this channel is dedicated to FPS games and other games too, but it is highly dedicated to FPS games, um, this was something I felt like I had to had to cover, and I'm gonna be interested to see you know what this is going to become. And with all the Founders passes, I'm curious whether or not this game will end up being free to play after it's done being completely developed and you have to understand that these developer or I'm sorry these founders passes are obviously again like early access which means they're going to use the money uh, you know in theory to continue developing uh, this game and potentially be able to get it done quicker um, we'll have to see what happens with it I think that a free-to-play battle royale is obviously 
you would think is the is the route to go, but we'll have to wait and see. Um, curious what your thoughts are on this. Uh, please drop a comment in the section below. Uh, maybe give this video a like. Subscribe to the channel if you haven't already and you enjoyed anything here. And uh, I hope you guys have a great week. We will see you later on.